the square and the compasses is the most recognizable symbol of Freemasonry. I'm going to trace out this diagram and cut it with the CO2 laser. First thing I'll do in Logic Trace is select the four points and that's going to define my work area. Shown here, I'm selecting the four outer corners of the diagram. First thing, I'll use the arc command to do both sides of the diagram. And that small portion, I'll use the line command. And then the arc command again for that small arc. So as you can see, a few commands, a few selections, that whole perimeter is complete. And it's quick and it's an accurate trace. I'm not going to bother tracing out those uh, letters there, custom name. I'll just use the computer program to generate those fonts. Now I'm going to start tracing out some of the internal components of the diagram and I'll be using the line command and the arc command again. I always mention that I use a red pencil. I use the red pencil to show my starting spots. It also indicates to me what parts have been traced. It's a matter now of carrying on and using the line command for quite a bit of the tracing as the lines are a lot of straight lines. There is a bit of tracing and a bit of curve fit commands. The tracing of this diagram went pretty fast because of the amount of straight lines. And shown here I did use the trace command also. The idea I have for this project is to use an eighth inch hardboard, cut this profile out using the CO2 laser, and spray it black. Also just a note there, in that last frame I saved my work, uh, I save my work frequently. When you saved your work, the program saves an extra copy. I call that the working copy. And that copy can be reloaded if you take a break or if you don't like how things are going, you can just turn around and load in that working copy. And that copy will be right from where you left it and you just continue on tracing right from that point. Also, just to mention that text, I mentioned that I'm not going to trace out the text because I'll use a, a computer to generate the font. But if that text were something special, you could trace it out. It just takes a bit of time. And I have done that in the past. I've done it with a font that I just could not find, a computer font to suit. Around that G, I'll be using the curve fit command. Use the curve fit because it's not an arc, it's an actual curve. Getting close now to finishing up the tracing. I'll save my final file. I'm going to load this file into Vectric Aspire, check the vector quality, and run it through the simulator to see how it's going to look. I'll also be using the circle command here to make that small hole at the top of the compass. And then I'll save this file as the final file. I'm going to load the final file into Vectric Aspire, check the vector quality, and do a simulation. The laser doesn't require a toolpath created, so I'll just use Vectric to simulate how the cut's going to look. It's going to look good. Shown here, I've got the hardboard fastened down to the laser bed. I'm running this cut on a 300 watt laser. I'm using about 30% power but I'm using high pressure air. I'm using about 28 PSI to get that smooth cut. 
looks like a black line. You can also notice there I'm using uh, magnets to hold down my workpiece. They're 75 pound magnets. They work just great. So I'm finished the cut. I removed the background. These are the scrap pieces. This is the finished cut. And now I've sprayed it three times with black tramclad.